Hello friends, I'm Tim Wildsmith, and in this video, I'm going to be counting down my favorite Bibles of the year. Okay, it's been a great year. There's been tons of new Bibles released. I've had a lot of fun this year at Bible Review Blog. This channel, it really grew this year, so thank you to all of you who've joined the fun or who've continued to support my work here. My goal is to help you guys find a Bible that's right for you. I'm convinced that if you find a Bible that you love and enjoy reading, that you'll want to spend more time with it. And that's that's the whole goal. But there's a lot of Bibles coming out. And so I try to see as many of them as possible so that I can share them with you and help you make a decision if, if it's the right Bible to add to your library. That's what I'm all about. And so in this video, I'm going to tell you my favorites of the year. There's been a lot of Bibles that have come out this year. All of these Bibles are basically going to be new in 2022 or new to me. You'll see what I mean by that in a moment, but um, I'm going to count down and I divided them into categories. I couldn't pick just five. So I'm going to do five different categories and kind of count down five to one. Now, all of these Bibles, well, most of them have been featured on my channel this year. So I'm also going to include links to all of those videos in the description of this video. So scroll down beneath the video on YouTube, check out the description, and I'll put the name of the Bible and the links to where you can watch more. If you see one and you're like, oh, I want to know more about that Bible, check that out. I'm not going to do a deep dive in this video. I'm just going to announce which ones I love and tell you a little bit about them. Find those videos to learn more. I'll also put links if you want to purchase one, that sort of thing. Are you ready? Let's do it. Okay, coming in at number five, this category is Bible Rebinds. I explored the world of Bible Rebinds more than I ever have before this year, and I got to see a lot of really, really cool stuff. I bought a few examples here. I got one from Memphis Bibles, one from Coloca. I actually never put this one on my channel, but it's an ESV personal reference Bible. I've done a couple of, of reels and things like that with this, but um, really, really beautiful Bible. And then this right here from ICA Bibles. A lot of people, even, even the publisher of Bibles at Thomas Nelson, Philip Nation himself said, this is absolutely gorgeous. So um, there's another one that I, I actually have at work. It's at Belmont. It's my Belmont Bible. It's one of my most popular videos of the year from Vitaly at SDG Rebinds. He made me a custom Bible for my work at Belmont. But I just really love the, the art and the craft of the Bible rebinding world. And I'm still kind of exploring that. And I'm even talking to some, some new Bible rebinders that I've never worked with before to feature them on the channel in 2023. But I'll put some links, as I said, to all my different Bible rebind videos so you can check those out. Just really, really cool work. You can customize something. You can take a, a beloved heirloom Bible and make it even more special. You can give a gift to someone. So I really, I really love Bible Rebinds, and it was fun to explore that world a little bit more this year. All right, at number four, we have the category of wide margin Bibles. This is actually why I decided to do this video in categories like this, because I was grabbing Bibles off my shelf. I was trying to figure out which ones I liked the best this year. And I realized that I pulled off three wide margin Bibles that all came out in 2022 that are really awesome. This one right here is an NLT single column journaling wide margin Bible from Tyndale. Really beautiful lined journaling pages. Like this Bible really looks and feels great. Very, very affordable. Um, another similar, this is a reference Bible single column wide margin, but this is from Thomas Nelson. It's the NKJV. They did it where they put the cross references on the inside gutter of the page, which I really like. I may have gotten one of these rebound and have that video premiering soon on my channel. This Bible really sings. The NKJV single column wide margin. It's a reference Bible. And then this one right here is sneaky cool. This is from Cambridge Bibles. This is the NIV Insight wide margin. It's a. It's basically the NIV wide margin in a hardcover option. It only was available in the U.S., but y'all, this is a Bible that was printed and bound by Royal Youngblood in the Netherlands. The paper is fantastic, and it was very affordable. It lays super flat. Like I was like, oh, this is awesome. I'm someone who spent a lot of time with my NRSV wide margin for my reading the Bible in a year. It's called the Year in the Bible series that I did, and so I was really drawn to some wide margins because I was spending time in one every day, and when I saw new ones, I was like, oh, I like that. I like that. Each one of these Bibles really impressed me, and they're not super expensive, crazy, over-the-top Bibles, but they just made, made me think, oh, I could really spend some time in that Bible writing notes, jotting things down like a daily read. I liked all of these three Bibles with that in mind. All right, number three is Thin Line 
Bibles. If you've watched my channel for very long, you've heard me talk about the fact that I grew up with an NIV thin line Bible, one of my favorites. I had an ESV thin line after college and kind of in my young adult years. I really love thin line Bibles. I love that they're portable. You can carry them with you. And there were a bunch of great thin line releases this year. This first one here is, yes, the ESV thin line in the heirloom collection. I had to remember the name of their premium Bible collection. Beautiful paper printed and bound by Royal Young Blood. Uh, lovely goatskin cover on this one. I really, really love their thin line and I'm glad that it came back in a really nice premium option. Second, you know, Zondervan put out a few different thin lines this year. My favorite of the bunch was the NASB 2020 thin line that they did with these Gofford page edges. This Bible, as soon as it showed up, it's just, it looks, it feels fantastic. And, and you know, Zondervan hit a home run left and right with their Bibles, particularly these premium Bibles. But the 2020 thin line, I think it really, really works well. I love the comfort print typeface. I love the, the red accents on the page. Like this Bible is awesome. But my favorite thin line that came out this year is the cheapest. These two are premium. This is just a regular uh, true tone. What's it called? Not true tone. Leather text, leather soft, whatever the, the leather touch, leather touch. That's what Holman uses. This is the CSB Thin line, not a new Bible, but they released a few new editions of it in 2022. I love this two-tone black and brown one. This is so soft and floppy. This Bible, as soon as I opened it, I was like, I love this. And I have, I've literally, I've been reading from it. It's a great Bible. Love the CSB translation. The typesetting is great. And it's like, I think you can get these for 15 or 20 bucks. This is such a great Bible for the price. And it's like that lovely thin line uh, form factor that I love. So yeah, it was a great year for thin line Bibles. Okay, coming in at number two is Skylar Bibles. Yep, I have a whole category dedicated to Skylar. I was actually going through thinking, Skylar's put out a lot of cool Bibles this year. I need to pick one that was like my favorite of the year. But because I did this category thing, I can pick a few of them. So first of all, I have the PSQs, right? They released two new editions of the Personal Size Quintel, the Zippered Edition and the Full Yap Edition. This is the ESV right? ESV zippered and the NASB full yap. But now they're starting to do this with all of their personal size quintels. They're doing zippered options, full yap options, in addition to their kind of regular standard yap options. I just like this. They're, they're doing different things. They're trying new things out. And the PSQ is, if I had to pick probably one Bible out of all, if I had to get rid of all my Bibles, I'd probably kick, pick my, my personal size NIV uh, personal size Quintel NIV that I carry to church with me every week. I've just fallen in love with that Bible. I love the PSQ in general, but now to have it in zippered options and fully app options, I just think that's that's a big win for Skylar. Next on my list is this right here, the Black Pearl Calfskin. Black Pearl matey. I love what they did with the Black Pearl Calfskin this year. I got it in the KJV Canterbury. This is the first edition that they released, but now they've got this in multiple different editions of the Bible. I, I love the, the, the navy liner, the dark blue ribbons with this kind of grayish black marbled calfskin look. It's beautiful. It's got blue under silver art gilding. Like this just kind of does it for me in a lot of different ways. I really like the black and blue combo, so that's a big win for me. But I just, I, I think this is a beautiful, beautiful leather. And of all their kind of marbled calfskin look, this is my favorite of the ones that they do. And last but not least, I, I really geeked out about the NLT Quintel. A lot of people were waiting for the, the rise of the new premium New Living Translation Bible, and this one did not disappoint. It's a beautiful typesetting. They made a couple tweaks to this Bible that I talked about in my full review, and I think that all of them were like big wins. This to me is like, if you want to see a good look at what Skylar can do, this this to me could be their new flagship Bible. It's just absolutely beautiful, beautifully done from top to bottom. A, a huge win and obviously really great to have the NLT back in the premium market because prior to this being out, there were no more NLT premium Bibles out there with the Caxton, the NLT Select Retired, that sort of thing. So now we have a really great uh, premium option for you fans of the NLT Bible out there. So yeah, I think, I think Skylar did an incredible job this year. Okay, it's time for number one. Are you ready? The number one category, it's really just one publisher. The number one, my favorite Bibles of this year were the Prime Editions from the Lachman Foundation. Lachman, the publisher of the NASB, who just recently updated the NASB 2020, they, they came out with a new line of premium Bibles this year called the Prime Editions. And I I think they did an incredible job. It started with this little guy, the, the large print compact Bible, really great, little, small, kind of about the same size as a personal size Quintel, super soft and floppy. I was like, this is great. The paper is nice. The, the, the typesetting, single column, I like that too. Beautiful Bible. The one on the bottom here is the large print ultra thin. It's basically a classic large print reference Bible, uh, center column cross references, again, redesigned by 2K Denmark. So it just looks great. 
it feels great. It's it's like a classic reference Bible. And then they came out with a third one, which is this guy, the Prime. They just called it the reference Bible. Two column, bottom of the page references, and it's a little bit smaller. It's more of a mid-size Bible. So they came out with three different Bibles in three different sizes in three different type settings, and all of them are great. And then for the, the, the fact that they're a new premium line of Bibles, the, the leather feels great, the gilding looks great, all of the touches were just really well done. I would have expected a, a new premium line to launch with one Bible and to hope that it would have been like, you know, a, a B plus. No, they launched with three and they got a solid A on all of them. I just thought that it was really, really impressive what Lockman did with the Prime Collection and, and I think they've got really big plans for next year too. So I'm excited to see what they have coming next. So there you have it, my favorite Bibles of the year. Now, I want to know what your favorite Bible or Bibles were this year, so don't leave before you drop me a comment and let me know. And if you want to get excited about what's coming out next year, I have a video dropping the first week of 2023 where I'm going to be announcing a lot of new Bible releases from a lot of different publishers. I've been in communication with them for the past few weeks, getting the list of things that they're excited about. I'm going to be announcing all of that the first week of January right here on my channel. Again, thank you so much to all of you for your love and your support this year. I have a great time doing this, and I, I love that I get these messages from everyone saying, hey, you helped me find a new Bible that I really love and I enjoy reading. I get those messages every day, and that's why I'm able to keep doing this, is because I feel the love from y'all, and I'm so excited about being able to help you do just that. As always, like this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You can also find me on Instagram and Facebook. We've got a great community on social media out there. It's been a fantastic year. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time.